I wore this for an entire week, and I want to tell you all about it. I'm James from the best smelling channel on YouTube, J Royal. Royal stands for rest of your life. So if you only rely on me for fragrance tips for the rest of your life, you'll be fine. I don't know what I'm doing. Fragrances have existed for centuries, but cloning is a relatively new thing. Fragrance cloning, on the other hand, has become increasingly popular these days, which has also proven to be pretty polarizing. It's pissing a lot of people off. It's a shame because you have companies being so creative with their creations, only to have another company copy them and undercut their price. But hey, lower price. Can't argue with that. Yes! But this is not gonna be a video about the whole fragrance clone debate. It's about gold. I love gold because gold is what? Best. <laughs> and our moth's Club de Nuit milestone is very upfront with its blatant use of gold, both physically in the presentation and also conceptually. To put it plainly, it's clear that Milestone is really just trying to replicate another gold fragrance, Creed's Millicime Imperial. If you recognize the name of this one, it's most likely because of Armoff's most popular fragrance, Club de Nuit Intense for Men. That happens to be another Creed clone, but of Creed Aventus rather than Millicime Imperial. Milestone is not marketed to men or women specifically, although its fresh and fruity quality does tend to lean towards the masculine side of things. Although women can wear this too. I was very excited to wear it this week because I was curious if it was indeed a good replacement for the original. Upon first spray, it really gave me a positive impression. <laughs> Don't judge the face I made. It was just, I was scared of the mist. The thing is, I judge a fragrance clone largely on the level of familiarity I feel when I first spray it on. Meaning, I spray it on and it doesn't smell like anything different. It doesn't smell like a unique fragrance. It feels kind of like I'm spraying on Creed. In the air, this is a very pleasant, clean, tropical fruitiness. And like its brother Club de Nuit Intense, it has a bit of a different story up close. <laughs> to be honest, it doesn't smell amazing if you bring your nose right into it, but I found that to be the case with a large amount of fragrance clones. You gotta spray it on and let it breathe for a second before you breathe it in and like it. Luckily for you though, most people aren't gonna be shoving their nose into your neck or wherever you sprayed it. <laughs> They're gonna smell it in the air around you. The sillage is going to be the most important part of your fragrance and the scent trail that it leaves. Milestone leaves a great scent trail and it does smell a lot like Creed's Millicime Imperial in the air around you. I've owned Millicime Imperial for years now and it was one that I always enjoyed the smell of. The performance on the other hand, never seemed to want to cooperate with me and my pesky skin. The clothes, yeah. You spray the clothes, it works fine. If you caught my review of Millicent Imperial, you know that I wasn't totally impressed with how long it lasted on me, or more accurately, didn't last. Club Dinui Milestone had decent performance on me this week. I would say I got about five hours of performance with maybe two hours of respectable projection on average. Not an amazing showing, but still about an hour or so better than the original. And this is huge because it seemed to have improved on Millicent Imperial's only real criticism, only real flaw that I could find in it. But it's not all good news for the arm off. While the later part of the opening and the middle, they're both excellent, the fragrance doesn't have much of a grand finale. The deep dry down was really underwhelming for me as it loses that really nice fruitiness it has, and it lacks the refreshing Creed Ambergris that was in the original, and this just turns a little bit bitter on me. But you can't be too hard on Armoff because the price is less than a quarter than what you'd spend on the Creed. And that's the clear draw of these fragrance clones. They're so damn cheap. You're cheap, buddy. Affordable guy. Whether the price reduction justifies the difference in smell is for you to decide. In my opinion, Club de Nuit Milestone is a great alternative to Melissa Imperial, but not a direct replacement. If you already have the original, I encourage you to continue using it. Why not? You bought it, so wear it, man. If you don't have it and you never really tried it, then you'll most likely be fine with the Armoff fragrance. Don't be ashamed of using these cheaper fragrance alternatives. Just do what's best for you. Don't worry about everyone else. 
wear what you like. Just be prepared for the occasional trolling when you post your scent of the day pic on Facebook. If you want to check out my Millisim Imperial review, feel free to check it out here. Interestingly enough, I recorded that footage maybe two years ago, but I still feel the exact same way. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you're a prick. Love you all for watching anyway. See you on the next one.